God, I do not want to leave this building the same as I came in. I want to encourage you. We're going to use this church as an opportunity. We all made it here. We're in the seats. We made it here this morning. Let's use this time. Let's utilize this. So we're going to dive into the Word of God here. We're going to be reading in Luke chapter 4. Um, we're going to be jumping through a couple verses here, so stay with me. You see, we're going to be starting at verse 38. So here we are, we have Jesus, and he appears to the disciples. He's talking to the disciples. But when he appears to them, it says they were startled and frightened. They were scared. Jesus looks at him and says, why are you troubled and why do doubts rise in your minds? Jumps down to say, but then Jesus opened their minds so they could understand the scriptures. That's something I really want for this body of Christ. That's something I want for myself, for us to be able to read the scripture and understand it. And a lot of the time, the Bible tells us if we ask for wisdom, Jesus will provide it. So we need to keep that in our prayer life. Like, God, please speak to me through your word. God, let me understand your word. You jump down to verse 51, it says, while he was blessing them. Let me give you a quick background. This is before Jesus ascends back to heaven. These are the last moments he's here with these disciples. It says, while he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up into heaven. Then they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they stayed continually at the temple praising God. Guys, Jesus ascended back to heaven. And here these men are. It says they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they stayed continually at the temple praising God. Guys, the Bible talks about being continually in prayer. Prayer is a huge part of this. We've got to give Jesus praise. The same way they went to that temple and they're waiting on God to come back and they're giving him praise. That's what we're doing here today. We're waiting for the day Jesus comes back for us. We're waiting for that moment. Amen. So I wanted to say a prayer to you all. Let's just come into agreement together and let's just say a prayer. So Lord Jesus, we just humble ourselves before you, God. We thank you for the scripture we've already heard this morning. We thank you for showing up during the worship set. Lord, I pray that you would just move this morning, God. We give you free permission, Lord, to do whatever you want here today, God. It's not about us. It's not about the band. It's not about the pastors. But we want today to revolve around you, Lord. So God, we pray you would just move mightily today. That people would feel change in their hearts. People would feel change in their spirits. People would feel change in their mind, Lord Jesus. God, we just surrender the atmosphere to you, Lord, and we rebuke the devil. I know the devil's attacking this morning. I know some of you, it was hard for you to get here this morning. It was hard for you this week. And just know that the devil wanted to stop you, but Jesus won because you made it to church today. You made it to the house. You made it here. So, Lord Jesus, I pray you would lift this congregation up and strengthen them, Lord. And I pray you would just draw us near to your heart and that you would live in our hearts, God. Please forgive us for all of our sins, Lord. As we enter in the rest of this worship, please make us righteous men and women of God, Lord. To be a righteous man or woman of God, that means to be in right standing with God. It's not about being self-righteous. It's not about pride. It's not about me, me, me. It's not about what I can do. It's about being in right standing with God, and that all comes down to the heart. It matters about our hearts, so Lord Jesus, I pray you would work on our hearts today. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. 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 Lord, right back to your feet. Let's get ready to get excited. Let's dive into some worship this morning. And let's just really praise Jesus with our voices this morning. Let's lift him a sound of praise. Amen. Amen. 